Now, Central Kingston Task Team, I know we have among us some of the founding members, one of the best time in downtown Kingston. We had the task team where we met with rival youths, youths who are in trouble. And I'm telling you, for three years, those youngsters did not rise and gone. It was the best three years downtown. <laughs> Importantly, the work that Grace and Staff Community Development Foundation undertakes forms an integral part of the capacity building and forward planning approach to self-help and self-actualization for individual and group development within the communities. The foundation's involvement utilizes participatory learning and action process which deals with individuals and groups doing discussions to analyze the past, review the present, and determine the future. Some of you, if you are looking on the screen, you at some different intervals, you'll see a map. Mark community stories, and that's where the communities highlight the 70s and 80s to talk about some of your issues so that we may be able now to document it. Within that process, the social intervention system used was designed and implemented against the background of social work ethics, which clearly speaks to the following, the following elements, human dignity and worth, social justice, volunteerism, integrity, and competence. We could almost just put it into Grace Kennedy values and we would see that the values are coming out into our work because those are also the values of Grace Kennedy. Now, notwithstanding all of this, we had many challenges, but I just want to give you a very aspiring story. A lady came to the office one day and said, she came from the hospital, she said the doctor said she had a week to live. She had 16 children. She had two boys in that 16 children. The girls were already on their ways with babies, with the exception of two. She said the grandmother in the country said she'll take those two girls, but nobody wanted the boys, so she willed them to grace and staff. <laughs> no, you tell me. This is the lady in the passage saying, Miss Madley, you have to take them. Me no want them turn bad, become who that turn in my grave. You tell me, we don't have no bed over grace and staff. Mr. Webby, we don't have no hotel over there either, so you don't have to get worried. But the boys were left to us. Nowhere to live. There's nobody to support. The girls are already doing things that cannot help. So we decided that we will assess them first and see where we go. Our counselor, Mr. Sweeney, we sit in there quietly, did some assessment and says, the two boys need remedial work. So the first thing was to get them into some remedial class, and secondly is to find somewhere for them to live. And I'm telling you, those social agencies which I mentioned, they went all out, all out, because we go all out too. And we found somewhere for them to sleep. Granted, there is no food provided for them there, so we have to provide the bus fare, the lunch money, the pocket money. Today, one of those, the mother went back and died on the Thursday. She left the children with us on the Tuesday. And we also had to provide psychiatric care for one of that young man. Today, proud to say, he has done so well. And he's now in the heart program, learning a skill and moving forward. He came to show me his timetable last week. No, you would wonder. That is something nobody else would do. So when we talk about challenges, we real me really, really strong challenges. We will examine the historical and contemporary challenges associated with functioning in the communities. The challenges will be broken down into categories which will be reflective of the dynamics involving maneuvering the issues affecting the communities. The first one is the further withdrawal or underfunding of the welfare safety net programs, such as the PATH program, 
which creates a backlash in terms of the number of persons seeking ex assistance, for example, golden ages, fire victim, unemployed, people need zinc for the roof, people need board for the wall, everybody comes to grace and staff because we are like, the only thing separate us from path is the car park. So when they don't get any help, they walk to Greece. When they go across the 73, the first thing they go for is grocery. There is no grocery they are sent to Miss Madden. And so they come home and they sit and they tell us the stories and we listen. No, we don't have any food either because it's not about handing out. So we now have to plan, we have to broker, we have to partner, we have to call around to get some help. Recession and redundancy of various positions in the company have an impact on membership and funding of the foundation, as the foundation is funded by staff and matched by the company two to one. So every dollar we get from staff, we get two dollars. But I don't want to forget that the directors of Grace Kennedy, if they have funds which they receive, either for talking, lecturing, whatever, it is given to Grace and staff and it is matched so it boots, boots up our, our accounts. Funding is also demand driven and can only give assistance to a limited number of individuals, especially in the case of students who want to move on to tertiary institution. The perception that private sector companies and groups, especially Greece, have access to large financial sums is a major deterrent to fundraising activities for the foundation because this is Grace. What is Grace doing raising funds? They have all the money in the world. Some people even quote whatever the financial report that comes out in the Gleaner, they know it word for word. Grace is making billions. You don't need any more money. Just call and good old Grace. One lady says, I say Grace every night. I eat Grace every day. Grace must be a wealthy place. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes I smile. It's a happy occasion. And I said, it is a very good name. Whoever called the place Grace, I'm telling you, that is a good name. And you know what she says? And when you get to church, what you get? Grace more grace again so that is the blessing so if you're getting blessing you're getting food and you're getting prayers what more could you want nothing else parents refuse at times to send their children to the homework center as they are afraid of unexpected and sudden upsurge of sporadic violence across borders which is a serious issue Sometimes parents tell the children, no, me not making you go down there, so no, sir, the part they're too bad. But, you know, we forge on. And uh, when you see from our success, you'll see it has not deterred us. Finding temporary housing for students is problematic. These are students at the tertiary and high school level who have major difficulties finding places to live. The lack of family support compounded with the financial constraint makes the task securing housing a difficult one. Now you would say to me, but these youngsters, what do you mean, they don't live anywhere? Yes, they don't live anywhere. So they sleep with a friend tonight and they sleep with another friend. And if everybody know about university campus, you know that if with a sweater and a shawl, you sleep in the library, your beggar friend make you come over and bail, or you get a catch here and there, that is how they survive. And we look about the school fee. We try to find that little money which says you can eat food. So they are going against the odds. These children are not going to tertiary institutions because it's comfortable and cozy. It is a rough ride. A student who is now a graduate from the program, he said, Miss, you know, Grace did not give me $10 million. But my school fee that they assisted me with was more than $10 million. For the first time while I'm at UTEC, I could sleep, I could study, and not worry that when I came to school tomorrow, I would be asked to leave because I'm deregistered. He's now giving back and teaching maths at the center. Now, 
we're going to look at some challenges for the youth. The first, the inability of the youth to reason, leading to misunderstandings and miscommunication. And I tell you why. I was walking on a street one day, and a young man was telling somebody, you have to watch Miss Martin, you know, this is a labor right place, do man a PNP. He didn't see me walking up. So I came up behind him. He said, you know what? Every time we see her in a, in a city business, she had to about, you know, the first man that used that word is PGA.